Um, the challenges are how do you give that child the therapy, the treatment, the things that that child needs to do their daily living in a way that makes them happy that, um, so they can develop. Many of the challenges are finding an appropriate placement for individuals throughout Atlanta. Um, it's very difficult to make a determination as to where your child fits and how you are to go about finding that location that's affordable and close to you and all of those things. The idea behind sensations is when you are in OT, occupational therapy, um, every therapist out there will tell you, you have to supplement this now. To a child, we are a giant playground where they can be well. Trained professionals do therapy. We have therapeutic play. We don't have benches and chairs. That is by design. This isn't a place for mom to come do emails while her kid goes nuts. One of the most important rules that we have here is that you're not allowed to apologize for each other. We do that too much out there. Um, what happens in here is a lot different than what happens out there. We have leagues here, they're called the Wonder League, um, and we play what is called all ball. So it's a full season of sports where they get the jersey, they get the trophy, they get the team picture. So parents with special needs kids typically spend a lot of their money on therapy, special foods, private schools. So a lot of times that sports program just doesn't get them on the list. Um, so we try to raise as much money as possible. We do that through renting our space after hours and baseball teams come in and we have the batting cage, our pitcher's mound, and infielding. We have a staff at the Wonder League that can get these kids involved in the social experience. It is what we call naturally inclusive. You'll have classrooms that are called inclusive classrooms. Those are forced inclusions. That's where people will say, okay, we need to put special needs kids with typically developing kids in the same classroom. Here it's naturally inclusive. Kids of significant special needs, as well as kids with no defined special needs, play together. What is used a lot of times in behavioral management um, is a multi-sensory Everything is, you touch it, uh, these are fiber optics, you can touch, feel, we have big kids that come in here and will break the entire thing. People is a nonprofit organization that was started in 1995 in my mom's kitchen. It was um, just going to kind of be something fun to do. However, it quickly turned into a business. Um, it's a program that supports adults with high functioning disabilities that are capable of bathing, dressing, and feeding themselves. We have multiple different programs that they can fit into an independent living program with two apartments, a day program, a social program, as well as support and employment. When it started in 1995, there was about 10 people in the program, and we now have 280. We used to have about five people in the independent living program, and now there's 158, and we um, have two apartment complexes where the only people that live there are our clients and staff. By involving the clients in the Just People program, the individuals have the opportunity to develop friendships and relationships that are pretty challenging to develop once you graduate high school. Um, it, it, it enables them to have social groups. They have boyfriends and girlfriends. We have people that are married. Um, we have people that have been divorced. So they're able to establish real life relationships um, with each other and support each other generally in a positive way. 
We currently have 63 staff on payroll. Um, they operate in a very different facet, <laughs> each of them. Um, many of the staff that are in an administrative position have also worked with the clients one-on-one um, -on -one as case managers or drivers. You have to have a very special personality in order to do this and to like it. And you have to hopefully be willing to stay. Change is very hard for anyone. It's especially hard for our individuals. And um, so we try very hard to make sure that the staff are a good fit before they come on board. So of the 280 we service, about 60 are on a Medicaid waiver. Um, many of the individuals privately pay, which means that them or their families or some trust or something pays for them to be in services. And then we have about 30 who are on scholarship, which basically means that they're here for free. And um, that's primarily because they're, they've aged out of foster care or they were homeless and they found us or they called us for five years in a row and so we just said, okay, come on. Um, and then we have um, people who were and will be again paying clients who are maybe going through a financial difficulty or whatever, so we waive the fee. It's come to work and enjoy my job. Every single day when I drive in, I'm excited. Every single night when I go home, I feel good. Um, and it's regardless of if it's a happy day or a sad day, um, because not only am I helping to make a difference in people's lives, but they're making a difference in mine. Corey Barrow, I was Chess Mitchell's old case manager for two years. As Chess being an individual at Just People, he got, as a waiver, he got an hour of services per day, per week. Sketch manager, so I helped him with grocery shopping, day to day life, cleaning, laundry, doctor's appointments, job schedules, weekly schedules, activity schedules, financials. So basically, a parent without being his parent. Chess is probably my favorite at Just People, um, and mainly because he had a very supportive family, Eddie. Um, he knew how to shake hands, he knew manners, he knew how to open the doors, he knew how to say thank you, yes ma'am, no ma'am. Oh, so he was above and beyond most of my individuals, whereas most individuals would come out and just expect things handed to him. Chess appreciated things that were given to him. And he appreciated the work I did with him. His family appreciated the work I did with him. I appreciated Chess's friendship. I appreciated Chess just as an individual.
Everybody say, ba ba Well, pick me up, hey. 